Do you think that you won that fight? I felt like she started a little strong, and I felt like I had the better of the last three rounds. Um, I had her drop twice. Uh, I know I didn't do what I know what my capabilities are. I know I didn't do as much damage as I wanted to do when I had her on the cage, but as far as kind of controlling the pace and controlling the fight, so yeah, the fight could have gone either way. Um, I felt like I had three rounds, but um, I also had a rock twice and didn't capitalize on it, and that's my own fault. So you think you won three, four, and five? Yes. Obviously a little controversial with those two punches that landed, actually it was three, one big one, um, I think it was the end of the third and maybe end of the fourth or second and third, and then the two. Yeah, um, do you feel like a point should have been deducted after the first time that this happened? And if so, should another one have been deducted after the second time it happened? You know, a lot of times with the first one, they give a warning. That's kind of normal. I wouldn't expect him to take a punch after the first one, even though it was intentional. And then the second time, you think that at that point they would do something. But um, I'm just one of those, I don't know, I'm one of those people that feels like I should not, I should not have let her done it anyway. It, yes, it's after the bell. I hear the bell. I stopped and she threw. It wasn't like in the, you know, the last punch of a combination when the bell rang. Like it was intentional. It was after the bell. Um, some, I mean, those are some of her best shots of the whole night were after the bell. And I don't know how the judges saw that. If they see that as points for her, then, you know, then uh, what can you do? <laughs> it's like, uh, I should have kept fighting too then. I mean, I should I should have really capitalized on, on moments when I did well and not even let her get to that point. Do you think she did it on purpose? Well, yeah. <laughs> if it's, like I said, if it's, if it's one shot after the bell at the end of a combo, then yeah, that's an accident sometimes. You know you're in the, in the flurry of it. But um, it's, I still think I could have won the fight on my own. Okay, and last thing, um, will you stick around at 145 now, or are you going back down to 135? I'm sitting in a spot where my last fight, three fights, I'm 0-3, so I'm going to take whatever they'll give me. Okay, thank you. Holly, can you talk about your execution tonight? And, and I mean, did you feel that, that you stuck to the game plan? You've mentioned in the past some hesitation sometimes with your, with your combinations and things. Did, did you execute the game plan properly tonight? No. A little better, but no. Um, part of that is just feeling the fight as it goes, and especially when I had her rocked and she literally dropped to her knees. I stood there in the clinch with her. That was stupid. <laughs> I should have gone after her. Those are moments where, you know, with experience in fighting, you know that this is the time to try and capitalize, and I didn't. And you mentioned that the shots, you know, those illegal shots, especially I think the one at the end of round two, um, you know, that they were intentional. Can you say how it impacted you? Because especially at the end of round two, it looked like your knees buckled after, after she landed it. She hit hard shots. She hit hard shots after the bell. I mean, those are the hardest shots I felt in the whole entire fight. And lastly, for me, you guys were, were very respectful of each other all week, but uh, you, you did say you think those were intentional. Have you lost a little bit of respect for her with, with, those, with those shots? I guess I'd say so, <laughs> but I mean, I, it's still a fight. I mean, I'm not, I know she's not in there to try to be, be my friend either, so, but next time, I'll just be ready to throw back. Well, that was my last question, but let me say, do you think there should be a next time? I and mean, we still really don't know what's going on with Cyborg, and there's a potential she could be out for a while. Do you think because the way this thing played out, it seemed like people's scores were all over the board, the illegal shots, do you think maybe it warrants a rematch? I think it warrants a rematch. I mean, I think when you have more than half the people saying that the fight should have gone the other way, usually that warrants a rematch, so that would be awesome.